Welcome back to the channel, and uh, I'm back in some modded Baldur's Gate 3. And I don't know the last time I uploaded. I, I can't remember the last time I played. But um, I noticed quite a bit of things, like playing through modded like I have. Like, all the, all the catastrophe shit that happens is only because the companions are with you. So none of none of that none of the none of the crazy shit that goes on with the Get Yankee happens if Lizelle's not with you. Haven't seen the Get Yankee since Act One. They didn't appear in Act Two. They didn't appear in Act Three. So like I didn't see any Get Yankee people here. I never seen Mazura ass in the game because Will. I ain't have to talk to the the Flaming Fist after Act One because Will Daz got kidnapped. Didn't hear nothing about that no more dead plot devices out of the window so like so many of the pieces of the story that was tied to the campaigns like the whole gale thing don't know where gale is i never even talked to him in the beginning of the game so we don't know if his heart thing is blown up and he's destroyed half a continent we don't know all those plot devices are just gone because i never talked to a single companion so i'm like damn the story is pretty flat when the companions are not there because they 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 made the companions they made the story so reliant on them, I think. That, like, the story outside of them is you just walk straight and, and kill somebody. Like, that is essentially it. Like, you do nothing else outside of that. You walk straight and you kill niggas. The, I've been playing Dark... This is my Dark Urge playthrough. I mean, well, I'm modded, but I'm playing Dark Urge because I wanted to, to see how that story went. You do one Dark Urge thing in Act 1. At the end of it, too. You kill a random person. I didn't know why you killed the random person, but you kill a random person at the camp for no fucking reason. And I'm like, okay, if you think that's dark, that's fine. That was stupid to me. It wasn't dark at all. And I didn't know why that happened. You know, I figured out why that happened in act fucking three. The fucking butler. So in my video, a random little goblin showed up and he started talking nonsense. And I'm like, bro, I'll kill your ass. Get the fuck away from me. And he just teleports away. I never seen him again. Nigga, he showed up to camp when I went into act three. And he was like, I'm your butler. And uh, you killed that one lady. That was so nice. Here's your reward. And I'm like, that was all. They used just a random murder you had nothing to do with. As a, as a plot device to show you the reward system for being evil. It was so dumb, bro. It was so sad. And then nothing Dark Urge happens ever again until Act 3. When when you finally talk to fucking... What is his name? The weak-ass nigga that's sitting, on, sitting uh, as, the, as the general. I mean, as the like, leader of Baldur's Gate now. I forget his name. Gortash. You talk to Gortash, he tell you like, oh yeah, you know, you used to be a part of this, and then you got your ass murdered by your sister, and uh, she took over your your part of the story. We thought you just lost and left. We didn't know that uh, she threw your ass away. And I'm like, really, nigga? And it just in Act Three is where the dark urge just actually happens, and shit actually goes around. So there was no dark urge in, in fucking in Act Two at all. Nothing dark urge in Act Two, except when you talk to the little. The little cow and you realize the cow is dark urge too but he's just being a cow instead of being a being a ball spawn he's like nah i'd rather sit here and be a cow i'm like that shit's funny i like that but other than that like there's nothing there's nothing really dark urge about the playthrough except if you go about the reward system with the goblin that's it. It nothing else ties into Dark Urge, besides you doing shit for the Goblin. You do what the Goblin says. He give you rewards. That's it. That is all that they did. I'm like, that's tacked on. You, I know it's tacked on because it doesn't feel like a different character at all. It doesn't feel different at all, except when Orin talks to you. But then she, like, since I don't have companions, she can't really torment me, like she could in a normal playthrough because I don't have companions. I don't have no fucking no uh things so i'm gonna just where's my wings at actually okay i mean if there's gonna be traps it's not like you can kill me so uh fuck you bro i don't care i don't care yeah this fucking dude
Oh, this door unlocking is impossible. Nigga, open a fucking door, goblin. Oh, master, master, master. I don't care, you come bro. Home to your royal dwelling. Nigga, I am evil. Don't lift the pinky. I don't have a butler. I've been waiting to open the door for you. Lady Odin told me to allow your passage, but if she hadn't, I would have been naughty. And, and you're a traitor. Inside anyway. Open the fucking door, bro. I don't think Vo I don't think Larian understands what evil is. I don't think people know what evil is. There's a puddle of blood on the floor as you walk in. Careful, don't slip. I don't think they know what evil. I don't think they know what dark is. Because for some reason, they think this is evil. And I'm like, like a uh, like subconscious, and and fucking. And, and random thoughts of, of bad things doesn't make you bad, bro. Doesn't make you evil. Being evil for the fuck of it makes you evil, bro. And you don't have that in this game. They make that bitch a chore. It feels more evil to rebel against them than it does to actually do evil shit in this game. And that's the wrong way to go about it. <laughs> it feels more evil to rebel against them talking to all this dark like oh you're supposed to be doing it no what the fuck i don't because that is consciously evil that is what evil entails you do things <laughs> for the fuck of it bro because you want to it's it's so sad hard to believe she is dead after all that she did to me I do not often doubt myself. But surviving Orin took courage and strength I was not sure I had. Wait, Orin is dead? I could not have faced her without you. Uh, we didn't kill her yet. She's behind the door. Okay. Correct. I am glad you see things as I do. No matter what victory we have won. We cannot afford to relax our guard. While the brain is still free, and we are still infected, we will never be safe. But we can talk of this later. For now, let us be glad that we still draw breath, and that Orin does not. Wait, but she's not dead. Why is she dying? I'm fucking confused. <laughs> What is she? What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, we didn't even do the thing! Must you are the chosen one. Why is that child here? Wait, that whole part never happened. He is near. He comes for you. I kill his ass too, that bitch ass nigga. Wait, why the fuck did Orin just die right there? I don't remember. Yeah, fuck this butler, bro. Get him the fuck out of here. That was a weak ass part of the game, too. He's annoying as shit. The three times I did see him. Because I've only seen him three times. Can you get on with it? I have things to do. I don't know why Orin died, by the way. I did nothing to Orin. Wait. Remember? Remember that Orin is actually like random NPCs in the world? Is that why she didn't torment me? Because she could be anybody in the world all the time? What if she died in one of my battles in the city? And I just didn't notice I killed her. To me. You are my chosen. Eat a dig, Dad. I have a gift for you, child. I don't care about your gifts. You will use it to lacerate this world. I a won't. Gift from your God, your father, an offering of his affection for you, a confirmation that he owns you. I mean, why did you have to say it like that? 
Because, uh, fuck this nigga. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, buddy. Come fight me, nigga. You are my spawn. Your veins course with my unholy blood. Good. Your life is mine. Accept your inheritance, or I will reclaim it. Do it. Do it. Where's the fight me, bitch ass nigga? There's no fight button neither. Damn, so I can't click that shit. The only family I want is those who fight by my side. That's so dumb, bro. Nah, I'd rather die, nigga. You were made to conquer. To devour. Is he actually gonna kill me? You Do it. My blood. And so I will reclaim it. I will make another who is worthy. That's real. End of game. For the first time in over a century, silence falls over the bar temple. No Wait, how is that nigga alive? No screams, I killed him. No prayers. In the end, your own death brought you more joy than any you wrought on this land. That's real shit. You're slipping into peaceful oblivion. But your journey is not over. Thou hast defied Baal, thy liege. And father, and in doing so, has earned a place among champions and heroes. What the fuck? Wither! But alas, thy courage was in opposition to the divine cosmology that bound thee to the Lord of Murder. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Thou faithless, godless, and doomed to wander the fugue plane for eternity. I wasn't expecting this. See, Dark Urge has been trash this whole time. That, though all the powers of life and death dictate that it should be so. I too still hold some power, and I invest a portion of it in thee, who hath challenged the gods and now liveth to tell of it. Now I'm a fucking god. Thy fight is not over. <laughs> what? This nigga with this edition breed. Thy fight. For one who can look upon Baal and oppose him can survive any crisis. So rise, challenger of gods. Now I'm God slaying. for battle once more. Death will not claim thee whilst I. That's some real ass shit. <laughs> That's some real ass shit, bro. I can only give what thou hast earned. I was not Ball expecting that to happen. I just wanted to see if Ball actually killed you, and he does. Imprecise. But now and you're not Ball Spot no more. In killing the part of thee he knew, the urge that drove thee to terrible acts. The spark of brutality that made thee his. But there is a new part of you that hath grown during thy travels. The real that evil, nigga. That Baal could not extinguish. And so, instead of destroying thee, he hath made thee anew. Now can I just the go kill Baal? The savior hath overshadowed the mind of a murderer. Thou hast vanquished thine urge. You can just get rid of it? <laughs> oh shit, bro. Did you know? Did I you know fucking all. know? But to you state truths know. is to interfere. We gotta kill Wither ass. For the minds of mortals are easily swayed. My place for the most part is to observe. I mean, that's cool. This intervention, the reclamation of thy soul, is beyond mine ordinary remit. But thou art extraordinary. And so are these times. Today thou art born anew. 
All right, now it's go. Now it's time to actually go do some evil shit and kill Reach some gods. The bloodless dawn, child of night. Let's go. Now you may yet rule and rule unhindered, rid of your. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Now evil can be evil, bro. Not evil because you have to be. Oh, it's so good. That's exactly what I was saying this whole time, bro. Like, you don't even get to be evil. It's more evil to not be evil in this game, because Ball tells you to be. Like, come on now, bro. Get the fuck out of here, my nigga. That shit's jokes. This nigga's dead. Finally, fuck him. His weak ass top hat. I don't even care. I'm leaving it shit on the ground. Uh, where the fuck is Orin at? Oh, it's Orin just body parts. Okay, I'll just take the things. Her little, her little dagger thing. Her clothes. She had clothes. I didn't even get to fight Orin this time. She just died. I think she randomly died in one of the battles I've had in the city. When like all like the civilians and shit start attacking each other. She might have been as in one of those. Now it's time to go do some evil shit for real, Minthara. So we have the final stone. We? Oh dang, you died. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I killed this nigga, right? And he was like, you can't kill me. You need me to live. And I'm like, fuck. Any, everything but evil I wanted to do, to I couldn't. The, the game wouldn't allow it. Well the nether stones pulse with psionic energy, permeating you, pulling you in line with their rhythm. The throng quickens, rising, cresting on a single feeling. A location. A moving pool. Beneath the city itself. So that's where the chosen imprison the brain. I mean, I'm about to go kill it. I'm about to go kill it. When we reach the pool, we will find the brain and we will end this. In death, throw them, or freedom. But a word of caution. Once we cross into the Elder Brain's domain, there will be no turning back. You think I care? Finish your business here before you proceed. The Brain will be waiting for us. I should be able to kill your ass now. You came out of the orb. Nope, because you're going right back in the orb. Fuck! 